if you reach down and pick up a handful of soil, you will be holding one of the Earth's most basic and valuable resources. Soil provides the foundation for roots and it is a source of food for plants. All living things disintegrate back into soil. Even children love to play in sand. Soil is a toy in their hands. Do you or your children often play with soil? If your answer is yes, you have to say hi to SDH or Soil Transmitted Helminthiasis. Soil Transmitted Helminthiasis is a term referring to a group of parasitic diseases caused by nematode worms that are transmitted to humans by fecally contaminated soil. Statistics given by WHO says 1 in 7 people worldwide is affected by this neglected disease. And it also says SDH affects more than 2 billion people worldwide. Only 200 million school children out of 600 million receive treatment, which means only one by third of the affected get treated. In 2012, 285 million children seeked treatment, corresponding to a global coverage of 32.6%. How does it grow? Once the parasites get into our body, they multiply rapidly. Lack of personal hygiene and poor environmental sanitation can lead to worm infestation. They survive by eating the food we consume or by sucking our blood. There are three types of worms common among children. Type 1 Round worms are ascaris. They are 10 to 11 centimeters long and pink in color. They get mixed in soil and get into bodies when children play with sand. Type 2 Hook worms, which are 1 centimeters long and red in color. Any child who is anemic or very pale or eats mud may have hookworms in its body. The third and final type is known as the threadworm. Very thin, thread-like and white in color. They lay thousands of tiny eggs just outside the anus or near the vaginal opening among girls. How are these worms transmitted? An infected individual contaminates soil with fecal matter containing helminth eggs. Other individuals are infected by eggs ingested through food or dirty hands or by lava penetrating skin. Thus, the life cycle of SDH is formed. A case study was conducted by CMC Bellor in the districts of Vellore and Tiruvannamalai. Going to government and government-aided schools was screened for STH. And the results said prevalence of STH was 7.8%. Based on further research on those 7.8%, they came to the following conclusion. And what are the preventions? Following these general instructions, one can effectively prevent himself or herself from worm infection. Wash hands well with soap or ash before serving food. Use latrine or pit latrine for passing stool. Keeping nails short and clean. Always keep water covered. Wash vegetables well before cooking. Prevent children from eating mud. 
using footwear outside the house and location of houses as world health organization marches towards its vision of a world free of childhood morbidity due to sdh karunya university join hands with them to bring a better tomorrow